Soccer in the South, Wolfman Jeff coming at you. <sighs> All right, I'm bracing myself because I'm reviewing our loss today, 2-0 at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. And so much to unpack. Um, generally, I don't think either team played particularly well. Obviously, Chelsea played better. Uh, they had two lucky chances in stoppage of the first half. Uh, the first one was a uh, free kick for a, uh, a penalty that is very questionable. And I'm not going to dwell on that too much. But uh, it's the second goal that I will dwell on. And that was, uh, I don't know what happened. Um, Rue Patricio went a little free range, jumped ahead. And uh, even though I do see that Cody tried to stop it, just wasn't enough. And uh, it's just too wide open. Uh, so even if that penalty kick didn't happen, we still would have lost. Uh, because the other factor is we just did not finish. We had a few chances, not as many. And with us having a better back line, generally speaking, than Chelsea, we should have had a lot more chances on goal. And so uh, we looked a little sluggish. Um, there were some times where we did come alive. I think bringing Adama in when he did, that brought a lot of spark. Personally, I wonder if moving him back as a, uh, as a wing back rather than a wing uh, to replace Doherty. I can understand bringing in Pauden's um, but I don't know about moving Adama back. So I think we should have kept him up uh, forward, but you know, it's, just, it's hard to guess. The other thing is, at the end of the day, we're the ones who put ourselves in the position that if we didn't win the game, we were going to be sixth. We were going to be seventh rather than sixth, which that's on us because we had so many draws this season that we should have turned into wins. And there was a few losses that we could have turned into draws. So ultimately, that's on us. However, we've had, I think, our lowest amount of losses since like 1980, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. Uh, certainly the lowest amount of losses we've had in the Premier League. The most points we've had in the Premier League, even though we're back at seventh like we were last year. The big difference with last year is that it does not guarantee us back in Europa League. Right now, we are dependent on Chelsea beating Arsenal. And Arsenal did not pull a win today. I think they pulled a draw, but still, you would think Chelsea has the better chance. There's just so much up in the air. But the other factor is this. One thing that we are in control of is how we perform in Europa League. And uh, so now our tension, our full focus is gonna be on Europa League. If we end up not going back to Europa next year, it's going to be heartbreak, but we're going to go down fighting. So let's focus on Europa League. Uh, a little frustrating. It's totally not how you want the season to end, and I hope that doesn't linger with us. But boy, that was a tough, tough loss to take. Tell me your thoughts. I can't really pick a man of the match. I know Atrari kind of changed things up, but he didn't play the full match. Um, Rold. Uh, just didn't seem, and him and Jada, I would have pulled up Jada earlier, honestly. Uh, they just didn't seem to really connect. Uh, Neto, I thought, was looking more lively, so I was surprised that Neto was the one that came off. Um, I can't really pick a man of the match. Uh, certainly not Rue Patricio, even though he had that one critical error that was critical. Uh, so, I got no one. I got no one. Let me know your thoughts on to Europa League. Come on, you wolves. This has been Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff. Hit like, and if you can, subscribe. Thanks for watching.